Scott's for a council meeting Monday, June 10th, 6 p.m. to order. The invocation will be given by Mr. Kenner and the Pledge of Allegiance given by Mr. Perry. <coughs> We need to do a roll call, please. Mr. Smith? Here. Mr. Perry? Here. Mr. Gary Stewart? Mr. Miller? Here. Mr. Patrick Stewart? Here. Mr. President, former Mr. President, you don't have more business. Thank you. First item is the adoption of the agenda. Do I have a motion to adopt the agenda? I make the motion to adopt the agenda. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Next item is the approval of minutes for May 13, 2013 and May 28, 2013. Do I have a motion to uh, for the approval of the previous moments? minutes? I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes on May 13, 2013 and May 28, 2013. Do I have a second? Second. Any discussion on those previous ones? Minutes? I'll get the right. I will vote. All in favor say aye. 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 I'll post a no. There is no old business, so we'll move to the new business. The first item on tonight's agenda is Gary Morgan with the radiation presentation. Thank you, Mr. President, council members, Mr. Mayor citizens of Scottsboro. Appreciate the opportunity about that in just a moment, but uh, you have before you a report here. It's about the radioactive emissions and health hazards in North Alabama. And it's what we've been doing for the past seven months is doing uh, radiation readings across the Tennessee River Valley, basically, and also from the Mississippi border over to the Georgia border. And you'll notice on this map here, you can see the uh, the red dots, and actually, there's a couple. Of, it is pointing uh, toward that mortality rates in North Alabama are, have been increasing since Browns Ferry has come online. And we cannot, particularly at this time, identify, and we're not sure. We know part of it's radar, other parts are not. We suspect it could be iodine, which would be uh, specifically from nuclear reactors. And if you'll notice over on page. <coughs> Uh, let's see what is there. Uh, page uh, 25. There is uh, we have a thyroid cancer incidence rate, and if you'll notice of the 10 counties in Alabama with the highest rate, four of them are in North Alabama. So this is pointing toward a a conclusion, not a definitive conclusion, but a conclusion that emissions from reactors are causing part of the radiation that we're seeing here in North Alabama. And the reason it's being because iodine uh, causing thyroid cancer, the primary source, is from nuclear reactors. But uh, now, as we look at the whole of Alabama, Jackson County, for mortality and incidence, ranks number 10. And there's very little difference from number one down in Baldwin County where they have a tremendous problem something that you want to be known for is number one. Uh, the brain cancer incidence in Jackson County is number one in the state of Alabama and ranks way up there in the United States. Now, I, I've talked to consultants about this, doctors, and we believe that it possibly is in, we have lead into the drinking water and possibly radioactive lead in the drinking water. And of course, lead is one of the substances that predisposes cancer. Now, my testing, we're going to test around Browns Ferry and we're going to increase our testing here and, and we're actually looking at increasing the testing uh, also up in Tennessee around the reactors up here. We suspect part of the problem is of course the river coming downstream has is a downstream flow from places like Oak Ridge and other reactors upstream and, and also the Y-12 complex and those other places up there in early <coughs> Tennessee. But uh, I do want, to, want you to know we, we this is a seven month project where we produce this report. Mrs. Johnson is a co-author of the report. Joseph Mangano is an epidemiologist and a public health specialist. We hired him as a look at this report because it's what you're doing as leaders in the community. And I made this same presentation to the county commission. You know, we're talking about citizen health here. And, and there is a, 
Can I be, be willing to bet you everybody in this room knows somebody that has had cancer or has been afflicted with, with, with cancer themselves. And so this is no laughing matter. This is a very serious matter. And of course, one of the causative factors, once you learn how radiation causes cancer, it, it is a very definitive factor in, in cause, the cause of cancer in our environment to humans. And of course, the human fact, human beings are the most important part of our environment. Any other questions? And this is not a good reason, but we do want to find out why. What's going on with the environment to cause this? Thank you. I'll just leave this up here in case anybody wants to look at this. Thanks, Gary. You're welcome. Sorry about being late. Sorry. Uh, but you were maybe late today. Pleasure here. Next item on the agenda is to consider the request to repair the recycling building. Mr. Morris Nicholas was here last week during our work session and requested that we repair, uh, do some repairs for him. Motion to consider a request to repair the recycling building. I'll make a motion to consider his request. Do I have a second? I'll second. Any discussion? I'd just like to say something. I've done a lot of thinking about this. Uh, I know Mr. Nicholas, he's a small business owner and he does provide a service to Scottsboro. I know he leases the building for a number now. And I also understand that in the lease agreement that he is responsible for repairs. And as he uh, shared with us since 2006, he has paid a considerable amount of money out of pocket for repairs and improvements to his facility. He was telling us that he was operating without electricity other than I think the Baylor was working. I can't imagine trying to run a business without electricity. In fact, without electricity, as we all know due to the weather problems we had a few years ago when we didn't have power for several days, you basically couldn't function. You were shut down. I personally feel that we should work with him on this and if we can get a transformer installed through the electric power board, if I understood it right, Mr. Mayor, you may have to correct me on uh, that. Yes, ma'am, the, the, that will be taken care of regardless of who pays for it. The power board will furnish that transformer and they make the money back to the sale of electricity. The expense is from hooking up from the building to the transformer, the way I understand it. Which was about $2,000 if the power and, board and that would be that on who, Yes, ma'am, it would be dependent on who we got to do that. I think he had a price of four thousand and we had a price of two thousand. So yeah. that's dependent on whoever who the contractor is. What type of transformer? But it's just a connection between the transformer and the building. And the building. The power will furnish the transformer. Um, no matter who pays for it. No matter who pays yes. for it. Well, I, you know, we're always looking for new businesses to come into the air and support them and I do too, but I also feel at the same time, we need to look at our existing businesses and, and sometimes the struggles they have. And, and I just, uh, you know, they're trying to stay in operation. They pay taxes, license fees, and try to pay salaries. And, and I would just like for the council to consider Mr. Nicholas' request and see if we could approve it for the lesser amount if, if, if that could be done. Thank you. Any other discussion? I, I have a uh, different idea. Uh, I feel like <clears throat> that we gave him this building for a dollar a year. Uh, this is back before all that happened. He went into a recycling business. And he said of the night that he doesn't take what other people, or he takes what other people don't take. But he also takes a lot what other people do take, whether it be copper, aluminum, uh, uh, cardboard, the whole nine yards. He, he basically takes everything everybody else takes as well. And, and I, I guess I'm concerned that these other businesses, we didn't do anything for them when they went into business. They all furnished their own building, they all furnished their own equipment. Uh, and if we do this, then what's to keep 
to do other business, whether it be religious or anything, to call and say, hey, you know, my food spot just blew up. Will y'all please face it? Or, or my glass got knocked out of my front window. Will y'all come and face it? I, I, I'm just saying, it's kind of opening a uh, can of worms here. But, uh, so, I think we've really done a lot for him that we don't normally do. Not giving a building. That's, that's a big thing, I think. Big commercial building. And uh, without that, he could not win into it. So, I feel like that we've done our part. It's in strictly in the contract that he signed that he takes care of these things. And now he doesn't want to. Uh, I'm sure he does a lot of good. Uh, but all the others do it. So, uh, I'm not. I'm not upset. Uh, I just have my opinion, and so I, I just don't think it's the right thing to do in this particular instance. See, my else have any discussion or opinions they want to discuss? I tend to agree. Um, it is in the contract that he will take care of this. Uh, he, he. Um, Anything that comes up it has to do with the building or the county. So, I do believe it's probably his responsibility to do so, being that we rent it to him for a dollar a year. Um, he is actually in competition with us, with our city, as a matter of fact. Um, in some instances, in some of the recyclables. <coughs> I think the, the key to this is he was expecting it to be around $4,000 from what he told us last week and uh, if we're able to help knock that down with the help of the power board then uh, I think that's the one on this part with the according to the lease. I just think that <clears throat> we have other businesses that have been, been here and uh, to be consistent and fair to those other businesses um, I don't believe that we should be good news. But, uh, I'd like to go ahead and let's do a roll call vote in this week. If there's not any other discussion. Mr. Smith? No. Ms. McCurry? Yes. Mr. Gary Stewart? No. Mr. Miller? No. Mr. Patrick Stewart? No. <clears throat> Next item on the agenda is uh, to consider the bond refinancing. Uh, is there a motion to refinance the two bond issues for the Scottsboro City Schools in this plan? Well, Mr. President, I would like to make a motion that we refinance the two bond issues, one for the school system slash school board, the other for a use bond slash use bond board. And secondly, we allow Randall James to continue having this budget. Okay. <clears throat> So do I have a motion to refinance two bond issues for the Scottsboro City Schools and Goose Pond and to let Raymond James continue with the refinancing of the bonds? I like that motion. Do I have a second? A second. Any discussion? If not, we'll vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. Next item is the Goose Pond Board appointment. <clears throat> Do I have any nominations for the Goose Pond Board appointment? Mr. President, I'd like to nominate Clyde Buck. Do I have any other nominations? I'd like to nominate Joe Barnes. <clears throat> Do I have any other nominations? Any other nominations? We'll, we'll do a roll call vote for Clyde Butler. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Gray? No. Mr. Gary Stewart? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mr. Patrick Stewart? Yes. So Clyde Butler will be the new Goose Pine board appointment. Move the reports. Mayor, do you have anything? 
Um, the only question I'm, I may have is on the board on the bond refinancing. Mr. Kinnemer, uh, you may have to come back later on and do a resolution once the time comes to refinance. Is that correct? Yes. Just so you'll know that you'll have to do the resolution later on. And I'll notify you tomorrow and we'll get proceed with the process. That's all I have. <coughs> Mr. Smith? Uh, Ms. McCreary? I don't have anything in that. Mr. Miller? I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gary Stewart? I don't have anything. I don't have anything either. Uh, we'll have a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Uh, second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say no. We're adjourned. Thank you all. Okay.